this video, I'm going to show you how to save and export material from your Canvas courses so that you may use them in future semesters or in future years. Before I guide you through the actual specific process of that, I want to let you know there are two ways to export your Canvas courses. One of those is to save to what we call the Canvas Commons. The other is to save to a disk that you have or that you own. Both have advantages, both have disadvantages. Before you decide which you would like to do, here are just a couple of thoughts and some overview of the two options. If you save to the Commons, the advantage is that it is saved in the cloud. In other words, it's saved on Canvas's remote server. You should always have access to that. It should be stored there forever as, or as long as Canvas exists and owns that server. The disadvantage is that you may have a little bit of trouble locating that file for, that represents your course. Of course, I will guide you through the process of how to find that, but some people have reported that is challenging. The other option is to save to a disk. The advantage is that it's on your drive. You know, you should know where it's located. The disadvantage is that it's easy to lose. So if you, if you saved it to a flash drive, for example, and you lost your flash drive, you would then have lost your course. Um, if you saved it to the hard drive of your school-issued laptop and your laptop got broken or damaged or for whatever reason stopped working over the summer, you would no longer have your course. So I would encourage you to think very carefully about which of these two options you would like to do and then proceed from there. It also really would not be bad if you would do both of these so you would have it saved in both places. So if some issue were to happen, you have two backup copies of your course. That's being overly protective. You don't have to do that. I would encourage you to do that if, you, if you're at all concerned about the future and the security of your course. If you're confident in Canvas or you're confident in your ability to uh, keep your drive over the summer, those should be sufficient for you saving your course. In the next section of the video, I will give you instructions for how to actually export your course. Welcome teachers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export the contents of your Canvas course to a file that you can save on a flash drive or to the hard drive of your computer. Again, remember there are disadvantages and advantages both ways, so make sure you are sure whether you would like to export your Canvas course to a file or whether you would export to the Canvas Commons. If you would prefer to export to the Canvas Commons, there is another video that will guide you through that process. This is for those teachers who would like to save to a file. The first thing, of course, you will need to do is to log on to Canvas. And if it's been a while since you logged on to Canvas, remember that you will need to go to greencastle.instructure.com. You cannot simply go to canvas.com. Once you are there, you will enter your ID. Your ID is just your basic user ID. It is, does, is not the extended login. It's not the at greencastle.k12.in.us. Not all of that. It's just the first part of your login. And then, of course, enter your password. And once you have entered your password, you should be taken to the dashboard that shows all of your active classes for the semester. If for some reason you're not taken to the dashboard, you can click on the left uh, ribbon on dashboard and it will take you to the dashboard. I have a demo course here that I use basically just for purposes like this to show people how to do things. There's really just a bunch of garbled information in it that I've downloaded from the Canvas Commons. Um, there's nothing super important in there. Um, so I'm gonna use that demo course obviously just to demonstrate that. So I'm gonna click on the demo course and once I have clicked on the demo course, it will load slowly but surely. Okay, once your demo course has loaded, or once actually for you guys it'll be your regular course, but once your course is loaded, um, on the left side of the navigation here, you want settings, which should be the very last option at the bottom. And once you have chosen settings, uh, there are a number of options over here on the right. However, I will point out if you are doing this, watching this video while your projector is on and you have the duplicate option on your projector, your options may be at the right down here because the screen resolution has been reduced when you're projecting. Um, so if they don't appear here on the right, they could be at the very bottom of the screen. So once you are there, you want the option that says export course content. And you will not have this option right here because I've played around and done a couple of other example videos with this course. So you won't have that option right there. Um, but what you will have is what would you like to export? Would you like to export the entire course or just the quizzes within the course? So I am going to create an export that is the entire course. It may take a while. This is a simple course with just basically text and a couple of example quizzes in it, so it's not going to take very long. If you have an entire semester worth of PDFs and lots of videos and interactive material, it's going to take a little while. I've seen them take as long as 20 or 30 minutes to generate there. Shouldn't take any more than 5 or 10 most of the time, um, but I have seen them take a lot um, depending on the material that you have. Notice right here it now says there is a new export, so I'm going to click here to download. Once I click here to download, if I'm using Chrome, it's going to go automatically into my download folder. Uh, if you're using 
Microsoft Internet Explorer or Edge or um, Firefox, it may be a little bit different how it looks, uh, and I can help you out with that if you have any questions, but for most of us, it's going to be into Chrome, and it is going to download into the Downloads folder, and if I hit the Show All button, it's going to show in the Downloads of Chrome. And remember, and remember, this is one of the advantages and disadvantages of exporting as a file. You need to know where it is going, and you need to know where it's saved, because if you lose this file, you've lost your course. So right here it says Demo court, Course Export, and I know it's a Canvas file because it says IMSCC. And if I hit Show in Folder, it's going to take me to my Downloads folder, which has lots of other stuff in it. I need to make sure I move this file to a very secure location. So I can move it to my G drive. I could move it to a flash drive but I need to know where it is I'm saving it. If I don't know that, I'm, I'm in a lot of trouble. If I have the Google Drive uh, desktop app installed, I can move it there. So in this case, I am going to, just for uh, demonstration sake, I am going to move it to um, my flash drive. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to open my uh, portable apps, which is my flash drive, and then I'm going to paste it right there. So I have it saved. It can be any place you want it. You can put it into your Google Drive. You can put it into your OneDrive. You can put it onto your G Drive. Do not put it onto the hard drive of the computer. I would not recommend that. Um, uh, if you have to put it someplace, find a nice secure location or ask me where you should put that, and I, and I will be happy to help you with that. But the main thing is you know where that file is located, and that's going to be different for everyone. Okay, once you've saved that, you're in good shape, and there will be another video to show you how to upload and s import that content once you're ready for the next semester next semester or the next school year. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, good luck exporting your content.